What this video is about is about a core belief that I have with myself that's haunted me, that's caused issues in my relationships in all areas, personal relationships, work relationships, you name it in all relationships. It's a core belief that I've had ever since I can remember. And when I started drinking and using drugs, that core belief was just heightened by the addiction. It really was, it made me believe it more. So that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video a little about. A core belief that I have, and hopefully you can relate. But before I get started, can you just take a second and subscribe to my channel? I'd really appreciate it. So you're all probably wondering, what exactly is that core belief? Well, first of all, I just wanna to say to each and every one of you who's watching this video, when you were born, when you sort of popped out, <laughs> for lesser words, you come out innocent, you come out joyous and free, just the way you're made to be, you come out. So no one is really born evil, in my opinion. In my opinion, none of us really were, okay? A lot of the stuff that we are today in your adult life, or even your teenage life, was created long before you were probably even aware of it. They say most of our development emotionally and psychologically and personality and all that kind of stuff, you know, the way we are, our makeup comes between the year one and the, and the year eight. So, but after that, it's pretty hard to change, right? It's hard to change us, it really is. But it's not impossible. I just discovered this in the last probably two weeks, not even that, maybe the last 10 days, that why do I feel like my personal relationships or my relationships with my family, our relationships with my work people is hard or is it hard to have any relationship on any level well it's kind of hard going into a relationship with a core belief that something's wrong with me and the main thing's wrong with me i'm going to screw up and cause other people's lives to be to be bad or or have hardship in their life because they're involved with me you know like it's all my fault they're upset <laughs> isn't that isn't that weird to think like that? To be in a relationship and think that your spouse is upset because it's something you did, but meanwhile, it's something that's happened in the office that was said to her that makes her upset, but you think it's your problem. It's you, because maybe, I don't know, you didn't kiss her properly or something. Or you go to work and the boss is mad at you, or not mad at you, but there's a problem, and you automatically think the problem is you. It's a really tough way to live thinking that you're a fuck up thinking you're the problem, or it's always you. And I tell you something, that is a truth that is untrue. That is a truth that I believed for decades, that I am the problem, I am the mistake, I am the misfit. So my best coping me mechanism that I developed over those years was, if it's my fault, then I need to change myself. Then I need to do things to offset, you know, people for they don't react to me in a negative way. So if you think, or you believe something's wrong with you, it's a core belief, or you have anger issues or intimacy issues, any kind of issues that you're having that you really believe in, you need to talk to somebody about that because it can be undone. Like I said, we came in this world a clean slate. Most of our behaviors and most of the way we think about ourselves were told by us, by others, when we were young. And because they were told, and because they were taught when you're young, or survival methods, how to you know, stop them from hitting you or stop them from abusing you, they can be unlearned. You can stop the cycle that you're living in from going to the next generation by simply addressing it. Everybody has problems. Everybody has issues. Everybody's working on them. Some people don't, I shouldn't say everybody, some people don't work on them. Some people just say, eh, you know, I'm too old, but not me, not this guy. I like the journey of self-discovery. I like it. I'm totally into it because you know why? Because it helps me lead my best life. It helps me be a better person, not for other people. Well, other people will benefit from it because I don't have to go through the world 
using drugs or alcohol to calm it down, settle it down, to fight that fight inside of me. I can learn how to live free from alcohol and drugs one day at a time, joyous and free because of self-discovery, because of self-forgiveness, because willingness to change, willingness, open-mindedness, understanding that I'm not perfect, understanding that I need to do things for myself that don't hurt me in the process or pull me away from my needs and wants in this world. Quit sabotaging my own life when there's nothing going on whatsoever. You know, it's a beautiful life if we embrace it. It really is. It really is. You're put on this earth for a reason. I'm put on this earth for a reason. We really are. The main reason is to help other people. And the way you help other people, help yourself, then help others. It will all, all be fine, okay? My name is Terry G. This is an un, I was going to say my old name, Untwisted Voice. This is the Alcohol Free Life channel where we're learning to live sober one day at a time. You can take a second, please subscribe, take another second and hit that like button. But just remember, sobriety is freedom. Sobriety is freedom. It really, really is, okay? God bless. Ciao for now. See you next week.